In the Mashrua neighborhood in eastern Rafa, another cleanup after another Israeli airstrike. The second day in a row that Israeli forces have hit southern Gaza. This time, the Judah metal factory targeted from the sky. The attack happened at around 1 o'clock on Thursday morning. Mohammed Al Ghuti says he heard it from his home across the street. It was a huge explosion, something beyond what you can imagine. It shook the entire neighborhood, even knocking some people out of bed. Angry? Yes, I am angry. Why not angry? Factory owner Osama Judah doesn't understand why the Israelis would target his factory, which he says is a business that makes containers, windows and railings. Judah says his factory has been operating at low capacity for two years because of the Israeli blockade. This place, why this place broken like this? Why? This place, you see this place for how many family eat from this? How many family eat from this? The missile that Israeli forces fired destroyed the infrastructure of the factory and left a huge crater in the ground. The owner says the factory once employed 30 people and was a driving force behind the neighborhood's economy. But Israeli officials are not convinced. They say their forces bombed the factory because it was used to manufacture weapons for Hamas. We believe that we have very good intelligence, we proved our good intelligence during the operation. So we are confident in the information that we have. Osama Judah insists that no weapons were made here. He told us everything that was produced was for commercial use. Missile here? We make missile here? Why? Why? We have, we, before when we work, we have too much money. For what we make missile and make problem for us? Okay. It is impossible for us to independently confirm if weapons were manufactured here. One thing is for certain, the factory is no longer in operation. Dozens of lives are adversely affected and rebuilding won't be easy. Todd Bear, Al Jazeera, Rafa.